I know I said history videos were next, but those are slightly more work intensive than anticipated, so until that's done I'll throw in some shorter videos. Like this one. I want to tell you about a local legend, a myth from Western Tan. Where exactly it originated is impossible to know, because every storyteller tells a slightly different version. Since it seems most popular along the northwestern coast of Tanbo, its origin is likely somewhere around there. What I'm talking about is the popular legend of Popeline, a story about a kind-hearted woman who manages to end a generations-long conflict without bloodshed. This tale begins in a small town, where two rival families have been feuding for so long nobody even remembers what started the hostilities. One of these families is led by an older man, a ruthless and cruel person. He blames every misfortune on the other family, and when one day one of his nephews gets beaten up so badly he dies from his wounds, the old man seeks vengeance. He has some of his goons kidnap someone from the other family, who he then interrogates about his nephew's death, and when he doesn't get the answers he was looking for, he tortures and eventually kills his captive. Word, however, gets out about this and leads to further escalation of the conflict. Until one night, the cruel old man and some of his relatives perish in a house fire. And it is during this very night that on the other side of the conflict, a baby is born. A girl called Popeline. Popeline is special. That becomes clear as soon as she starts talking. As a young child, she constantly brings up these memories that she couldn't possibly have. She says she remembers living another life before hers, as a man in the very same town. And she says she remembers her death, when in her old life she woke up to a roaring fire that she couldn't escape from. Her words are dismissed as things she might have overheard in town at first, until her memories get more and more detailed, and she talks about events from her past life that no one would have ever told her about. Curiously, despite all this, her personality is nothing like the old man's. She grows up into a warm and friendly young woman, harboring no ill will towards anybody. And yet, she continues speaking about the old man's life as her own. She apologizes to her own family for the things she did to them, and later visits the rival family where she manages to convince people of her previous identity. Over the years of her talks with both sides, she slowly calms the tension. Now a trained healer, she mends not only wounds and minds, but eventually the rift between both of her families as well. And so, Popolina lives a long and healthy life in which she has a genuinely positive impact on everyone around her. And when she finally dies of old age, they say a baby is born the very same night. Of course, no folktale like this is complete without a moral, which in this case goes like this. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you can change. You can improve both yourself as a person and the world around you. And maybe Popolina's soul even lives in you today. You should honor her memory and treat others with the same respect she would have shown them.